What's going on everybody? Welcome to today's video. I'm excited that you're here because I got a little something special for you today. We got a good old fashioned nighttime Texas hog hunt coming at you with a little twist to it. Got pretty exciting, but before we get into that, I got something I want to show you. It's February right now, Valentine's Day is just around the corner, and this is also when a lot of Mondo bass are caught. I got this shirt designed for you guys, promoting it this month, and I'm sure we'll keep selling it, but this is the I Love Fat Girls shirt. Just in time for V-Day, and if you wanna catch a Mondo, Wear this shirt, take a pic, tag me on Instagram. Make sure to give it a sniff. Uh, but this is a really cool shirt. Love the way it came out. And who doesn't like catching big old Mondo bass? They're about to get up there in the shallows, start bedding. Those big old girls are gonna start munching here pretty soon, as soon as we get all these cold fronts out of the way. In some parts of the, of the country, they're already munching. But that shirt is available right now for you guys. You got card links and links in the description for you to go check it out. Helps support this channel. And this video just might be demonetized. So, uh, sure does help the channel out when you purchase the gear. Appreciate you. So just to set this up for you guys, me and my buddy Matt, we were going out to do a little hog hunting. We'd just come off the lake. Uh, you guys saw the last video of uh, doing the stringer of fish. Cook those up, fried them up. They're very tasty. And then this was the nighttime hog hunt that followed that. We're hunting with that 6.8 caliber AR-15 with the thermals on it. And we also had some thermal, uh, just monoscopes, not what? Monoscopes? Not binoculars, monocular. So we could literally just scan around in the field, found a hog. I'll let you guys watch the rest. It's time to go after a hog. We're gonna try it at least. We already got some good meat. Matt's got a buddy over here. It's a dairy farm. It's a dairy farm. Okay. It's so a dairy farm. He's got a milk problem. So they gotta keep them hogs off of it. Common problem in Texas, y'all. Probably hear me talk about it a lot, but a lot of these farmers just have issues with the hogs tearing up the land and everything, so I'm always happy to go shoot one. Checking with y'all here in a minute. It's getting dark, kind of hard to film. Stay tuned though, could get interesting. You're lighting me. hardly any camera equipment we just got out there and got it done it's freezing but now we got to get this thing all the way back we're way out here in the middle of a pasture surrounded by cows in the middle of the dark anyway i can't wait to see this pig though it's pretty good size so we're gonna go take a look at it come on let's check it out we're trying to forge a path we got a little problem here we got this hog back in this field and we cannot we're trying to find a path through this little creek area i think we're just gonna go for it I think he's good to go. Just go for it. Yeah. Okay. I go a little bit to the left. He's good. Oh boy. We got tractors. I can get you out if you need to. Yeah. We're just going to get a little gas to it. Hit it with a little pop right here. There you go. Yeah. Oh yeah. Come, Come on. on. Come, Come on, on, baby. There you go. Oh, oh. That's straight. Yeah. Might be getting close here. Yeah, I think it's. Better stop on this high spot. Yeah, stop on that high spot. Let's go. Just... All right, time to go look for a pig. Okay, let's go. All right, y'all, we're in the field. We are literally in the field. The hog dropped. Actually, that 6 8 flipped the hog. Flipped it over, I saw blur, blood squirting out, so pretty sure the hog's dead. Got a pistol on me just in case, because it's, I think it's a big boar. We're gonna find out, but um, anyway, it's it's out here in this field, I think about, shot it about 75 yards away, we think. So, all right, we're good to go. I'm running in trees here. Now, I know this is getting exciting right here, but let me just hit the pause button for just for a second because it's about to get pretty graphic. Now, this is not your Saturday morning hunting and fishing show, y'all. You know you come here to get the behind the scenes look, the more intimate look at things. 
everything doesn't always go perfectly in a hunt. It's not all, you know, smiles, here's the rack, and oh yeah, everything's clean. This is one of those situations that you sometimes run into, y'all. I like to call these educational moments. Now, if you got little ones around the room, you might want to shield their eyes, or just educate them on what's going on here. Let's get back to the video. Hey, hold. Took a little bit more than we thought, but I'm just gonna give him a second. Ooh, let's get, let's get hear him sharpening his his tusks, his teeth with his hooves. He was like, I was like, ooh, those look pretty nasty. So I'm really glad we carried the pistol. That's a good size hog. this okay there you go he's done <sighs> oh, that is a tough tough hog right there shot him with that six eight flipped him i thought he was done i saw blood squirting out gave him plenty of time so we had to go all the way back here in this field and he was still kicking when we walked up so Whew, that's a little sketchy right there but uh I think he's done, so hog down. Bacon time. Alrighty guys, this is it right here. So glad I got the pistol, walked up on the hog. I'm not really sure where I hit the hog. It flipped over and uh, we all thought it was just dead. And then we walked up and it was trying to get up. And I had to put a few little pistol rounds in it, but finally kicked, killed over and uh, you know, anytime you see one of these hogs in the field by themselves like that, it's usually a boar like this. And you can see those big cutters right there. And this is just a big bodied hog, man. Like look how thick he is up front. Just burly, nasty. And uh, it's gonna make some bacon. So we're gonna get him cleaned up, take him back to the truck. And uh, man, I wanna thank Morgan. Thanks buddy. Yeah, man. I just met him tonight. He's one of Matt's buddies. And uh, this is right over here on the lake where I used to guide, right over here close to it. So over here in East Texas, man, you got big bass, big hogs. Pretty cool. I'm excited about this hog. Got a pair. A hot, steamy pair of testes right there. Um, still steamy. Still kicking. That's part of life. That's circle of life right there. That's some coyotes are gonna hear that. They already smell them. A little bloody. A little messy. Pulled out a tapeworm. That was kind of gross. I can't remember last time I cleaned a pig. Cleaned deer. Fall, but. Oof. Upper hundreds. Yeah, yeah, I'd say upper hundreds. Sometimes you don't even need a cooler. I'm not even kidding you, this thing smells really sweet. That's nice, it's like a maple maple type situation. So that's iced down. We're gonna carry that back into town. Um, get some sausage and all sorts of goodies. Nice and packed down with ice. And uh, that's good to go, man. Bacon-tastic. Man, that turned out to be a nice Texas boar. And let me tell y'all, I took it to the processor. Got a bunch of great meat, getting breakfast sausages, getting Italian sausage, getting bacon wrapped, tenderloins. We're doing pork chops. We're doing everything with that hog. And it smelled like maple syrup. I'm not even kidding you. So 
looking forward to getting that meat back. It's going to be real good. And that whole day just turned out to be an awesome meat haul. So heck of a day in the outdoors. And the takeaway from this video is if you're going to go nighttime hog hunting, make sure to either carry your rifle with you when you're approaching the animal. If you're not, make sure to carry a sidearm or have somebody around that does. The cameraman freaked out a little bit on this trip and started running away with the light. And that kind of freaked me out because I didn't have any light on the hog and it was getting up, it was getting his feet under it. I had to uh, basically shoot that hog in the dark and just use the best of my best of my ability to take the hog down. And that is going to wrap up today's video, y'all. If you like nighttime hog hunting, make sure to let me know in the comments. It's a pretty cool thing to do. I've, I've gotten a lot of offers to go do it and I uh, thank each and every person that's given me a, uh, an opportunity to come because it's, it's really fun. Texas has a hog problem and they're really tasty. If you like what's going on here on this channel, make sure to subscribe to it. It's free and easy. We got videos coming out just about every other day. So we got plenty of action coming at you. And if you want to support me, go get the shirt, go get the merch, visit the merch store. And if you're a subscriber, I guess I'll see you on the next video. But if not, you're going to miss out.